Right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at outlook and if you are like me and you are receiving tons of emails from a spam account and these are on a daily basis and you want to deal with these very quickly and you want to clear up your inbox maybe you've got a ton of spam in your inbox and you want to clean this up then this video is for you so i get loads of emails from this someone's obviously add me to this domain uh, spam system and I'm now getting spammed every day. So I'm not interested at uh, blocking the person here because this changes on a daily basis with different names, but it's the domain name that I want to block and I want to stop this spam coming from this domain name. It's very simple and easy to do. You just create a rule to block this domain name and I'll show you how to do that. Now I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talking about right clicking on this email and then go into rules and then say create a new rule here. The problem with this method is it's only going to block this email address uh, with this uh, beginning email here. The domain name won't be blocked, it'll only block this one. Now we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to go to file and we're going to go down to rules and alerts here. Click on this one here. And this will open up another box here. So from here, this is where we're going to create our rule. So from here, what we're going to do is create a new rule. So new rule. From here down the bottom, you will see apply rule on messages I receive. So let's click on this one here and we're going to go next. From here, we're going to get the rule wizard popping up for our step one to choose what we want to do here. So let's go ahead and go through this list here and find the one that is uh, suitable for us. So what we want to do is we're going to come down and we're looking for, and there we go, in the sender's address, that's the one we want. And we can then use the domain name in this sp uh, specific word in the sender's address. So let me just go ahead and check that. And from here, what we're going to do is come down here now on step two and click on this one here. And now we can put in the domain name right here, move to a, another folder. So let's go ahead and put that in. So we know the domain name is this. This is the domain name that we want to do. So we're going to add this right here. Now you can add a bunch of them here if you want to, but just for this one, I'm going to do one. And uh, after this, I'll go in and edit this and add a load of them and move them to a junk folder and I can then go through them and look at them quickly and remove them from my inbox. So next we're going to click OK here. And what we're going to do next is go to Next. Now we need to move it to a specific folder. So let's go ahead and check mark this. And down here, you can see this right here. It says move to a specific or specified folder. So we're going to click on this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this to another folder. So what we can do here is click new and we can call the actual name something like this. So we know it's exactly what it is and click OK. And now we can select this like so and click OK here. So now we're all set. What we need to do is click next. And you can see from here, we've got some more options. Everything is okay here. We don't need to select any of this stuff. So click next. And you can see here, we're going to leave this as is. And what we're going to do now is just put the check mark in, run this rule on this message already in my inbox. This means it's going to go through all my inbox and pull out all of the emails that have this domain name here and put them into that folder. This is going to clean up my inbox that we have. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to turn on this rule, make sure that's checked there. And what we can do now is we're going to click finish and you now will see it's going to go into my inbox and pull them all out of there and put them into a separate in, uh, folder, which we've called this. So you can see that's now done. We can apply this and click OK. And you can edit this at a later date, and I'll show you that in a second. So what we're going to do is click OK here, and this is it right here. And you can see there's a bunch of them inside here. They're all junk, and they're all spam emails, and you can just see it's pulled all of these out of there. 
Now, all you need to do here, if you want to edit this and pull out more, you can do. And we're going to go ahead and do that. But all you can do here is I'm going to empty this out. Now, once you've read through this and made sure there's nothing that is decent in there that you want to keep, because I know all of this is junk and I could have deleted these uh, with a filter and made them all delete instantly. But what I want to do is I just wanted to show you how easy it is to move things. And you can use this method to keep good emails from different clients or different companies that you want to organize in your inbox. And this is the way you can do it. But I'm just pulling these out just to show you how we can quickly root these out of our inbox here. So I'm just going to quickly delete all of these and you can right click and delete all like so. And there we go. That's now all empty. And once I've finished pulling these in from now on, what's going to happen if I get any spam from these, it will go into this folder here. But what I would do is I would have delete uh, a delete a rule for this particular spam. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how to move a domain name. Now, what you can also do is going to go back into file here and we're going to go back into manage rules and alerts. And you can see this is the one we created here. Once you finish with this, you can delete it. But if you wanted to change any settings on here, you can do by double clicking on this. This will go back into this uh, window here where we can go through and we can make changes to this. And you can see here. Uh, what do you want to do with this message? Move to a folder and we can put delete it automatically and it will delete that uh, content straight away from that folder. Uh, you can set this up in the rules section here. You can also just change the uh, specified folder if you wanted to and double click on this one here and you can change the folder to whatever you want. So let me go ahead and Click this one here and you can have this going straight into your junk mail. So I'm going to send this to my junk mail and I'm going to click OK here because I don't want them going into a particular folder. Now you can have these set to delete as well, like so. Once it hits that folder, it's going to delete it. Click next, click next again, and we're going to run this rule and we're going to click finish. And there we go. It's going to go ahead and do its thing. And it's now done. Apply and OK. And now I won't get any more of these. They're going to go straight into the uh, junk mail and delete them. So what we need to do now is basically add in all of the ones you don't need. And you can add them inside here as well. So all you need to do is just add extra ones in. Like so. We can double click on this. And we can now add in the actual word itself, like so. And you can just add in the ones that you don't want. For instance, this one as well, we can add this in. And you can add in as many as you like. And all I've done is just change the name to something more appropriate. And then we can now click Finish and run this. And it will go ahead and remove these uh, from your inbox. It's that simple. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.